What a mula, you mob. How are you today? We're going to be talking about how to throw a returning boomerang. The thing that uh, makes a returning boomerang come back is its shaping. The fact that it's had uh, different parts of it taken off. The leading edge and trailing edge, as you can see here. So that's your leading edge and your trailing edge. And then it works opposite. The leading edge comes on this side and the trailing edge. So it works like two aeroplane wings inverted against one another. That's what causes it to come back. This little groove on the back is like the rudder of the boat which steers it. The ones we make here at Marawaka do come back, but you just need to do a few little things to throw it. First of all, it's how you grip it. A lot of people grip a boomerang like that and it's too hard to let go because that's what you've got to do. The secret is how you hold it. Like a pistol, slight grip, and so that when you flick it, because it's all in the wrist, the boomerang will come back. The other thing is, you've got to find out where the wind is coming from. So you grab a bit of grass, throw it up in the air, a leaf, find out where the wind is, say the wind is coming from here. A right-hander would throw 45 degrees into the wind. When you have the boomerang, just slight angle like that, and you should let it go about there. A lot of people make the mistake of going like that like throwing a baseball, but that's not a slide. Just like here, slide angle, and then throw. So find out where the wind's coming from, 45 degrees into the wind, and flick it like you're cracking a whip. It should come back to you in a nice angle, and when it comes down, it'll be spinning, so you have to catch it like that. So always be careful with catching the boomerang. So as I say, what a moolie, and many happy returns.